Hello, welcome back to another fine video for Pokemon Gold and Silver. Today we're going to be going for Murkrow and Houndour. Both have uh, are found in the same area, which will be why I'm making the same video of it. Uh, this is in the post game, so you can't get either of them until you're post game. Anyway, let's go. So we're going to start in Saffron City. This is post game, and we're just going to head uh, west into this little patchy grass here, and uh, this is basically where you find it in this area. Murkrow has a 30% encounter rate and a 35% encounter rate, depending on which game you're playing, which does not make a, enough of a difference where it's worth really caring about. And Houndour has a 5% encounter rate, so let's go. There we go, we found Murkrow, a very unique Pokemon. It's unique to Generation 2 in the sense that it's a flying dark type, which has not been made, I don't believe. Uh, it's not very strong yet. It becomes stronger in Generation 4 and Generation 5 and onwards. Um, but if for whatever reason you want to use one on your team just because it looks cool, then go right ahead. I'm capturing one. Murkrow's always looked kind of cool and you know, it's always been one of my f more favorite Pokemon. So let's just capture it real quick. There we go, we capture it. And uh, with that, we just have a 5% Hound Hour left, and I'll talk about that once we find it. And there we go, we found Hound Hour, a very, very awesome looking Pokemon. Again, if you don't have a Fire type yet, and you, for whatever reason, want one now, Hound Hour, I strongly recommend. It is almost as good as you can get in terms of fire types in this game if you haven't gone with the starter. It evolves into Houndoom, which has very good stats, and, you know, it learns Roar, which you need to be careful about, apparently. God damn it. There we go, we found another one. I'm just going to throw a uh, Great Ball at it. Hopefully we capture it. And there we go, we capture it. So it's not always going to use Roar, just like Growlithe. It uses it sometimes. Um... But just be aware that it does no roar. I had a feeling it knew roar for whatever reason before I went into this video. It must have been for my Pokemon Crystal video, but I just forgot to mention to you guys. But good thing I showed you that video because I probably found it before you guys did. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for whatever I post next. See ya.